Hi guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you how you can use the control click command, which allows you to send a mouse event such as a click directly to a window or to a control within that window. If you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. All right, welcome back and let's begin. So control click allows you to send mouse events such as a mouse click directly to a window such as a notepad window or a directly to a control within that window. So if I bring up my window spy, that's the control name for the blank space where the text goes in within the notepad window. Um, and when you specify the name of the control, you can send the mouse event, such as a click, directly to that control. There are several benefits when you use the control click command as opposed to using the plain vanilla click command. One of which is that when you use the control click command, the command will not move your mouse cursor to the coordinate that you provide. Whereas with the mouse click command or the vanilla click command, the command will move the mouse cursor to the coordinate that you provide to perform the click. Another benefit is that the window, the target window that you're sending the click command to when you're using control click does not have to be active. It can even sit in the background like that, but it will still send the click to the target window. It can even be hidden away from the screen but you can still send click events to the target window however if you minimize it the target window will not be able to receive the mouse events now let me just bring up my web browser to look for the official documentation of control click to walk you through just the basics of the syntax. So here is the syntax. Control click is the command and you have control or pause. So basically you either provide the name of the control that you are going to send the mouse event to or position within that target window that you're going to send the mouse event to. So with the position which appears to be the the first mode you have to specify the x and y coordinate in this manner and with the control mode mode 2 you specify the the name of the control or class nn of the control or the name of the control the next parameter that you have to provide is the win title parameter and this parameter refers to the identifier of the target window there are various ways you can refer to a target window. One way could be to provide the title of the window. Another way would could be to provide the class name of the window or the handle to the window, i.e. the unique ID of the window. And in some examples that I'll be showing you a little bit later on, I will show you how you can use the win title parameter. I'll skip the win text parameter. This is not widely used I believe and I haven't used it and which button refers to the button on the mouse so left right or if you have the middle button you could also use the middle button as well click count is the number of count of the click that you're going to send and options refer to some options that are available so uh, providing a D will press the mouse button down and not release it up will release the button and x n and y n refer to the coordinates that you want to send the click to starting from the control name that you have provided all right so now that's out of the way let me close out of this browser and go back to my site and i'll close this out just make note of that how you have to provide either the control or position within the first parameter and I'm going to show you two examples one that uses the control as the first parameter 
and this is going to be in the form of a hotkey so let me use numpad1 as usual to create my first hotkey and within my first hotkey I'll first show you how you can get the position of the control um, within a window control get pause is the command and con x and con y to get the x and y coordinate of the control within the window and con w and con h to get the height and the width of the control which isn't all that necessary for um, our purpose but i've put that in for now anyways i'll just ignore those two variables anyways and toolbar window 321 which exists within the site window and um, to find this out there is a script that I wrote to find out all the controls within a window in the form of a script demo video so please watch that if you want to find out what controls are available within a certain window and within site window we have what's called toolbar window and I have to provide the title win title for this command which is going to be I'm just going to use this auto archi class site window and once we get the position of x and y I'm going to move my mouse cursor to con x and con y okay and then I'll create a second hotkey and this hotkey will use the control click command and first parameter was the name of the control because our example is uh, for using the control within the control click command and the win title that I, I will be providing is the class name site window and then ignore win text and go left click once and within the option parameter I will specify an x coordinate of 10 pixels and y coordinate of 10 pixels I explained to you why I'm doing that now I'm going to run this script and press number pad 1 and my mouse cursor will be moved to the position of the toolbar window 321 control okay and pre by pressing number pad 2 what it will do is it will find the position of that control and perform a left click uh, 10 pixels to the right and 10 pixels to the bottom which means you saw when I press number pad 1 it takes me to this little corner here and if you go right if you go 10 pixel to the right 10 pixel to the bottom you will see the you will hit the new button within sight which will open up a new script so if I press number pad 2 it opens up a new script like that but notice how my mouse cursor did not move okay now I can even um, send this to the background so I've got my Windows folder behind here so if I click that my site window will be sent to the background if I press numpad 2 and go back to my site you'll see that another script has been created because it clicked that icon that creates a new script I can run the hotkey multiple times to create uh, new scripts by sending a control click to the icon like that like that I'll close out of it and also I will show you one more example of sending a control click to a control within Microsoft Word let me bring it up and it's basically going to be the same thing and let me just copy that and I will create a, another hotkey using numpad4 and do that I just got to update the names of the control I believe it was net UI HWND1 again if you want to find out the names of the control within a window then watch that use that script that I have created as a script demo that I uploaded before and I have to upload this and the win title that I have to provide at this time I'm just gonna use the title of the window which is document 3 
dash Microsoft Word, place this with that and replace this with that. And I am done. So let me save this script, run it. If I press uh, numpad three, it will take me to the position of the control, which is on the top left hand corner of the Microsoft Word. And while my focus is in sight, if I press numpad four, it's going to click the control, but 10 pixels to the right and 10 pixels to the bottom. So it will successfully click the icon that exists on the top left hand corner of Microsoft Word. Okay, let me try again, numpad four, like that. All right, let's quickly move on to the next example. I'll close all out of all of this. And this time, instead of using the control, I'm going to use the position by X and Y within the target window. And I will create a loop to send a click 200 times. So let me create a numpad one hotkey and do a loop of 200 times. And then do a control click of x and I'll use a variable called x for the x coordinate and y for the y coordinate and you just put a space between the x and the y coordinates to separate them out and I'm going to use the win title of auto archi id of a variable called window id which I'm going to fill up later using a command and put add a 1 to x and add 1 to y to move one pixel to the right and one pixel to to the bottom every time the loop is ran and I'm going to create a tooltip that shows the x and y coordinate every time the loop runs and put a return and I'll create another hotkey numpad2 and this time I'm going to use this mouse get pause command to get the X and Y coordinates of the mouse cursor and also the output bar win which is the the auto key ID so the handle to the window of where the mouse cursor is floating on so if I ran this if I run this command while my mouse cursor is on site, it will get the ID, the unique ID of the site window. And I will also again put in a tooltip command to show me the coordinate of X and Y of the mouse cursor. I forgot to add in another column here. So if I save it and run it, and I'm going to open up my Chrome Canvas create a new drawing and if I press numpad, numpad 2 here I'll see a tooltip that shows me the coordinate of where my mouse cursor is it, and it will have grabbed the window ID of the window that I'm looking at now and if I press numpad 1 it will use that window ID to do a loop of 200 times and perform a click on the coordinate with the coordinate being updated by moving to the right by a pixel and moving down to the bottom by a pixel each time. So I'll go ahead and press numpad 1 and it will start to draw a diagonal line like that. Okay, now I can also make this go faster by setting the wind delay. Oh no, not wind delay. It's the set control delay, control delay of negative one, which removes the delay altogether. I'll save this script and run it and press numpad two while my mouse cursor is on top of the Google canvas and press numpad one to start drawing the line. And this time it will draw the line much quicker. All right, that's it for today's tutorial. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.